Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's gonna be super quick and easy. I just wanna personally go over my current dream luxury wish list. And again, this is dream. This is by no means supposed to be attainable for me or anyone else. It's just for fun. And hopefully I will introduce you to new brands or new items that are current in season that you have never seen, which is always just fun to explore and do a little window shopping. I'm going to go by brand, so starting off with Cleo Pepiat. I actually found this on TikTok when I saw a girl wearing it and I was like, oh my gosh, where did you get that dress? And I just figured it was a fast fashion dress, but actually I went and I looked at the brand, which I had never heard of, and, and it is luxury, so maybe that's why the algorithm found me but it is seemingly a UK brand. And there's two dresses that I absolutely love. One is the prism dress. So it's like this ombre purple pink and it's completely crystallized. And then also the Rin dress. The Rin dress is my absolute favorite. This is the one I saw on TikTok. I love that mint green. It just looks so luxurious to me. I think it would just be so pretty with anyone's skin tone. But this is a very cool brand to check out. I mean, it seems like they're up and coming. I don't know, maybe I'm late to the game, but they have all kinds of dresses. It seems like their thing is the little crystals and beads that they use. If you'll see, they have purses that are completely crystallized and they're just so pretty they look like works of art which is i think why i appreciate it so much so yeah go check them out i am not affiliated in any way but i would love to explore their brands more next i'll go to prada so i am loving their arc leather shoulder bags and i think it's because of the gold hardware and everyone and their mom has been unboxing a celine triumph shoulder bag that looks like the same shape also louis vuitton has their mini moon bag out so i think everyone i think the shape for this season is that little half circle but i just think prada did it best i love the leather that they used like it looks delicious like i want to eat it for some reason the brown is just so smooth so chocolatey so rich and then on the black they use the the gold hardware and to me i think that that's what made all the difference here again it looks so rich and i don't mean that in monetary way i just mean like the colors look rich and beautiful it looks like art i'm just in love with both of those i would gladly take either next this one is a little personal so christian louboutin i know when we think of red bottoms we're usually thinking of heels and wearing those shoes in super special red carpet events right but this is finally a day-to-day -day shoe that i think is so chic i want one in every color so it is their new season cl mule and so you can see it has the c and l embroidered on it but i especially love this shoe because to me when i look at this i'm just seeing an l so i'm seeing l for Lindsay. these look like they were made for me i want them all they come in beautiful capsule closet colors there's a black a light beige a brown and a red so i know i'm gonna get at least one pair i just need to decide what color because i know i can't get them all but the red would be beautiful with my versace bag and then black and brown are great for all the time and then i'm just a sucker for beige so that's gonna be a hard decision but I am so happy that Christian Louboutin is coming out with day-to-day -day shoes. I really don't know why they're so late to the game. I mean, yeah, I know that they have day-to-day -day shoes, but I'm saying like fashionable on trend ones. Because if you think about it, there's the Christian Dior sandals, the Oran sandals from Hermes. Like everyone has done the, the leather across a sandal and so i'm just like finally and also thankful to them that they did it in neutrals and like real colors that are wearable and not a random teal or a pattern like dior next i'm not fully putting this on my wish list it's just like okay everyone and their mom is buying something from celine so i think the two hottest brands right now that are like coming up like i know coach had that whole revamp and now we we're looking at coach differently but i would say the same is happening for celine and Loewe. and i'm not saying that they were never bougie and great but they've definitely had a pop-up and i want to say it's their influence through tiktok i'm always just so curious with the psychology behind 
luxury trends. So I've really been watching this and yeah, it does seem like Lueve and Celine are very trendy in like the young TikTok era. So I have been like trying to get on board, but to be honest, like from Lueve, the only thing I'm seeing that I like are the big beachy bags, which I am so far behind in my building my capsule closet before I'm buying luxury bags to take to the beach. I love their tank top with the little Lueve logo that everyone has, but just not willing to pay $390 when I'm just afraid that the quick wash with that, I don't know, I might break down on one of those, but I've been looking at Celine bags. I just don't love the shape of their bag. I love the shape of their logo. Their hardware is gorgeous, but those just aren't the kind of purses that I would find myself being attracted to. However, with me saying that I do love their logo, I think if I was going to purchase something from this from for a wish list point of view, I would get one of their thin belts that has the logo because I do think that a brand logo that has like an LV for instance, or a GG for Gucci, or a CD for Christian Dior, if it's not your initials, sometimes it can be a little weird to have a belt that you're gonna have for years, in my opinion. So I think since it's laying away from the initials, it's a beautiful design, I would like it for a belt. However, I don't find myself wearing belts that often, especially living in Hawaii, because I'm usually wearing dresses, skirts, crop tops, tank tops, um, that often don't um, involve full length pants, especially not jeans or linens. Okay, moving on to YSL or Saint Laurent. So I have been trying to lay off just a little bit because I do love YSL, but I feel like that has been the majority of what I've gotten recently. And this one is more of like an in my head, like, oh, if I had all the money in the world. So it is the maxi shopping bag tote. And I love the beige, I love the black. What I love about it is the quilted lamb skin. It looks so freaking soft. I wanna sleep in it. I wanna sleep on it. I just wanna hug it. It just looks so soft, so, like all the really soft Chanel bags. So it just looks super luxurious. However, you know me, I like borderline mini bags. I don't even like carrying a regular size purse. So in no way would this be usable to me. And I'm sure as heck not gonna take that to the beach, okay? But yeah, just the huge logo, like I've seen it in person, it is like literally this big. Mm, I just like, may, like I just want it as a pillow. Like, is that so hard to ask? I don't know. But if a large sum of money just fell on my lap, sure. But for now, no. <sighs> you guys, I fell in love with Bulgari. I fell in love with Bulgari. The first time I went in, I just, it was like, this is gonna sound really corny, okay? But I felt like at home, that's where I see the majority of my luxury purchases going in the near future. I, I was, first of all, I wanna live in the store, okay? My essay Eugen was freaking adorable. She was the best. She let me try absolutely everything on. Like I had 30,000 or more dollars on me at all times when I was in there and it was freaking me out, but I was loving every second of it. I will put videos from that when I unbox my Bulgari purchase, but for my wish list, of course, I know I will not shut up about this bag, but I love it so much. Like, I don't know, I just, I saw it and I was like, that needs to be mine, it is the Serpentini tote bag. Actually, that's what I went to go get uh, when I did go the last time, but they didn't have it in store. That is still forever on my wish list, okay? I, I think I want it in black. I wanted to go see the white and the black when I went. That's why I was going because the white is a little bit off-white. And I don't know, that just seemed a little risky because not, not only for color transfer, but also just I have a mostly dark wardrobe and also I either have black and white or beige. So I don't know how off-white would really go with white things and I don't know how it would go with beige things. So I feel like you'd have to be wearing all black, which also isn't an issue, but I don't know, it just seems less wearable, but I just wanted to see it in person. It's mostly for the aesthetic of the beautiful serpentine and again, the colors are just so rich and I want that to be my black capsule bag. The next purchase that is seriously on my for real for real wish list is going to be the Serpentini 
Viper bracelet. Just like all the other luxury brands like the Justin Clue for Cartier and the Love bracelet, they have different variations, right? So they have the white gold, yellow gold, and rose gold, but then they also have like the basic one where it's just the serpentini shape. It has a little bit of bling and then it has a whole lot of bling. In my for real wish list, I would love either a yellow gold or rose gold serpentini viper bracelet one with where just the head of the serpentine has diamonds of course i would want the all the way around and i did try that one on but it's a little on my price range now the decision between yellow gold and rose gold is going to be really hard because my jewelry is probably split half and half and i know gold would probably go with a lot of the hardware like for example if i let's say i did get the serpentini tote from bulgari and then i had the gold serpentini viper I could wear those together but if I got the rose gold it'd be a little weird so I feel like the yellow gold is a safer bet but we'll get there when we get there and then final finale the Bulgari Serpentini Tobogus Tobogus watch however you say that I don't know but they have a long and a short version basically it looks like you have the viper wrapped around your wrist and again I I love the rose gold, I love the yellow gold, and I love the yellow gold mixed with steel. That is on the wish list on down the road, but I'm gonna keep that there, okay? I don't even wanna, I didn't even wanna watch. I told you, Jen, I was like, girl, I did not even ever think I wanted to watch. You use your phone. But those things are beautiful. Like, if I ever own one watch, I want it to be that one. I really and truly do. There's just something about that, and she put it on me too, and I was like, <gasps> and like the way it wraps around like it's almost like comfy cozy also seeing that hardware bend that way was magical like i want to know how it's made it's absolutely mesmerizing to see something that is hardware just easily bend okay so like i said short and sweet video for this monday don't forget i have videos every monday and friday at the least please subscribe like and share if you enjoy my video i'm just getting started with my channel and until next time